Space Concordia Robotics Division is a multidisciplinary group of undergraduate and graduate students from Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. We are pleased and excited to introduce the newest iteration of our rover, BEEP. The rover uses the three bogey suspension system with the front two bogies connected to the chassis through a four bar mechanism. This is to efficiently transfer the loading on the front wheels to the middle when traversing slopes and rough terrain. We use an aluminum extrusion chassis for its flexibility in mounting and removing modules such as the electronics bay, the science payload, and the arm. We have also greatly reduced the height of the chassis from previous years to lower the rover's center of gravity and increase overall stability. For faster and simpler recharging, we replace our custom-made battery with two off-the-shelf models that have near-equivalent specs. These are now mounted external to the electronics bay for easy accessibility along with our off-the-shelf battery management system. This reduces the time and effort required to plug the batteries and operate the rover. The new battery design frees up space inside of the electronics bay, allowing for better board placement and cleaner, more organized wiring that drastically reduces clutter and wiring errors. Closed loop control for all the DC motors in the arm guarantees accurate arm positioning and allows for an accurate real-time visualization of the arm in the operator's GUI. A new arm base assembly was designed to improve maintenance and reduce gear backlash. A custom-made slipring was added to the arm's base, both allowing for an integrated solution to the cable management and for continuous 360-degree rotation. A new compliant adaptive grip design was developed that interfaces with the arm's current and effector interface. The majority of the gripper is printed using onyx material with carbon fiber particles and Kevlar strands. The rest, including the custom worm gear drives, were machined in-house. Its compliant fingers allow it to adapt to the shape of the object it is grasped. It has the flexibility to type on a keyboard, grasp and insert a USB drive, or carry a 5kg load. This design also includes smart servos which are capable of position and velocity control. Remote communication with the rover's onboard computer is done by means of a digital radio module with MIMO functionality on the 900 MHz band. The base station uses a high-performance dual-polarity Yagi antenna. The rover has two perpendicularly positioned Omni antennas to capture both the horizontal and the vertical components of the dual-polarized radio signal. Command signals and telemetry are transferred between the rover and the base station over the ROS network. The command sequence begins at the base station where signals are sent over radio to the onboard computer, which then relays the messages to and from the microcontrollers responsible for the wheels, arm, power distribution system, and science subsystem. Video feeds from cameras located around the rover give the operator a full view of the rover's environment. The rover can be controlled in one of two ways, through the graphical user interface or with a PlayStation 4 controller. Three microcontrollers connect to the onboard computer, an NVIDIA Jetson TX2, using a UART to RS-485 common bus. A 3D simulation of the manipulator helps the operator understand its current configuration. We have upgraded our onboard computer to the Jetson TX2 to allow for use of a said 2 stereo camera in the Ouster 3D LiDAR. The 3D LiDAR is capable of mapping up to 120 meters of terrain with a 360-degree view. This map will then be fused with the output of a set 2 camera for a more accurate mapping of the terrain. Live AR tag detection is implemented at the graphical user interface for a visual validation of any and all AR tag tracking features. Casiba simulations are used for more efficient testing and debugging of the autonomy system, including the SLAM and path planning algorithms. The rover's scientific instrumentation comprises an off-the-shelf near spectrometer and a custom-made Raman spectrometer. The Texas Instruments near spectrometer is a reflectance spectrometer and is capable of analyzing the rocks for water contents as well as its major mineral constituents to assess whether it is possible for life to develop in the rock without chemically or physically altering the analyte. To complement the readings from the near spectrometer, the Raman spectrometer was designed to analyze the soil for biomarkers which would indicate past and present life as well as markers which would indicate habitability for present and future organisms. 